Are you Peter? What just happened here? Peter, why are you angry at this gentleman over here? Peter's always angry. <laughs> nice. Really learning a lot about Peter here. <laughs> punch me out later. <laughs> May I say, sir, that's, that's the jolliest I've ever seen someone say that sentence. What the fuck is going on here? You, you bailed him out of jail for beating you up? What's your name, sir? Okay, and, and you know Peter, how? Rather not say. You're gonna stop talking now. That's an interesting turn I didn't see coming. <laughs> How do you know each other? Whoa, whoa, that's a little too far. <laughs> now, if you'll kindly excuse me, if you'd like to join us, he's gonna beat the shit out of me outside. What's your name, my friend? I'm Matt. Say, Matt, did you, did you no, get tired no, of the... <laughs> now, don't listen to him, he's been to jail. Was there English there? What the hell? I heard come home with me and then I think you just got ahead of yourself. Come home with me! <laughs> Don't worry, he knows. That was for him. That's our special language. That's me telling him I'm gonna beat the shit out of you later, but... <laughs> Matt, I'm so sorry we got cut off there, man. Are you from Mount Bridges? Or where you live and just outside. Oh, uh, Asia. And you came here for this. <laughs> Thanks, man, I appreciate that. That's really nice, you know, there you were, you're in Ajax, you're looking for something to do. You probably went online, you Googled it. Google said there's nothing going on. But in Mount Bridges, there's a comedian living his dream on a glued together stage in the corner of a fucking lounge. And you thought that could be interesting. I'll make the trip for that. <laughs> I like how you're still holding out to see how it, how it ends though, you know? You wanna see if we really get to see this guy get knocked out by the end of the night. If we have a comedy show and we watch this guy get his lights out, holy fuck, what a night. Shit, I'd drive to Ajax and back to see that shit. Half the tank. Half the tank? Take. Take? Oh, money. You, you think there's money in this. <laughs> you, you think that we're making money from this. That's fucking hilarious, man. I tell you this, if we line up and people pay to watch you get knocked out, we'll make way more than being on a fucking glued together stage. I'll tell you that much right now. Then I want half the take. I'll promote it. He doesn't even say no. He didn't say no, please don't hit me. He said, let me have a few tequilas. What fucking place is this? From the bottom of my heart, I mean this sincerely. I will never, ever forget this night. But I mean that sincerely. I will never forget this. And uh, I don't say that often because most shows, to be honest, you forget pretty quickly. You do it, you drive home, you forget about it, but this one's gonna stick with me for a long, long time. You know, psychologically. <laughs> psychologically, it's in there. And, and the real reason, the only reason, is because it does not seem real. That's the only reason. It seems fake, it seems set up, you even look like an actor, if I'm being honest. <laughs> like, like, think about this. If you were gonna cast the role of the guy who enjoys having the shit kicked out of him 
and he was going to laugh about it and, and be okay with it as long as he had a couple of tequilas. Is this not the fucking guy you're casting? Of course.